All right, so now I want to move into the fourth phase of this program of jujitsu and of fighting in general, and that is the submission and the handcuffing portion. Now, part of the reason why I wanted to uh, even film this video series is I haven't seen much from the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu community in its ability to address the world in the current state that it is. Uh, some of the techniques that I'll be showing are chokeholds, uh, also known as vascular neck restraints. And the legality of the vascular neck restraints will actually change from department to department. So please do your research for your department in your legality and ability to use these uh, techniques in all different scenarios. Now, you can see in the unfortunate George Floyd incident, definitely a, a horrible incident, um, that there was a choke being used where the knee was on the neck and um, unfortunately it had ended the way it did. I don't necessarily want to comment so much on that part, but a lot of people were saying that they should ban chokes completely um, from police officers being able to use them at all. And I disagree with this claim, and here's the reason why. Since the 1800s, judo competition has been going on, and um, over the, the last couple decades, jiu-jitsu competition as well. And there hasn't been a single death recorded when the people with the knowledge of the uh, carotid artery compression, which is what we're talking about here, apply the technique, there hasn't been a single death recorded. And it's actually a lack of training in that department where if they were just able to receive the knowledge of how to apply and how long to apply these positions and chokes, that it would be a much safer, versatile method of doing police security work and using it for self-defense as well. So as we move on into this fourth section of jiu-jitsu, I will show you um, details around the vascular neck restraints, how to choke someone unconscious. And um, my, my claim to you is that over the years, it has had an actual incredible track record of safety when it is done by the people that are trained in how to use it. 